Centrum as Aquarium Fertilizer Part 2. It's been one week since we applied Centrum and my homemade fertilizer and one a day tablet and a control to these four aquariums here. Now a point to note, if you were to compare part one of this video with part two, you will see a massive increase in growth in this particular aquarium. And this aquarium really had the uh, home brewed fertilizer. As for the first aquarium, which is this one, this is the one with central Centrum, and if you take a closer look at it, it's not really impressive at all. As a matter of fact, the leaves has di have died down in Valisneria. As for this other one, which is the one a day one, Valisneria looks good. Seems to be some improvement, but there seems to be some degrading of the leaves at the ends and chloralysis. That's where chlorophyll actually leaks out of the leaves and it becomes sort of damaged. This was the control. And if you look closely, you can actually see pearling on the Elodia. There's a lot of pearling there. No carbon dioxide injection, just light. It seems that uh, the fertilizers from Centrum and from One A Day actually did more harm than good. Now if you look at this last one, this is very impressive. This is my homemade fertilizer and you could make it as well. It's basically crushed up fish that is in liquid form and so crushed up and powdery, mixed into fluid and injected into the soil. Now there are, there's some important things to note here. I don't think you can see it, but if you look at the soil, it actually has fungus growing on it and that's a sign of decomposition. My only guess is that this organic matter started to decompose and as it decomposed through bacteria and fungi de decomposition, lots of nutrients were released. So it gives you the idea that you know banana has a lot of potassium. You might probably want to crush some bananas and crush fish put them together and have them be buried in the soil, which acts more or less as organic fertilizers. It's not animal waste, but it is um, protein and potassium right there. Now, if you know the macronutrients for an aquarium are phosphorus, nitrogen, and potassium. And I think that the fish matter here actually just got broken down and through decomposition and really helped with this. As a matter of fact, when I look closely at the um, at the Valisneria and the other stuff, it seems that some bubbles are actually going up. I don't know if you can see that right there. And that suggests that there's lots of some kind of oxidization or some further breakdown of material. Anyway, I would suggest that you try making a organic fertilizer and have it decompose in your soil so you don't have to do the uh, poor man's dr this, was it drops, uh, PMDD or the estimated index or the PPO, I forgot what it's called, uh, pro or something where you basically make your own home brewed fertilizers from chemicals that you buy from places. At this point, a week has elapsed and we will take back a review next seven days. Thank you.